So price action training school through an ATR breakout concept. My name is Nenad and uh, we will start with presentation just after our risk disclaimer. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Other markets you can detect no responsibility for information accuracy. This is solely my opinion and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Guys, download Admiral Market Supreme Edition. There have been a lot of new indicators to help you trade. I possibly will make a new presentation regarding Supreme Edition. There are a lot of new tools including tick charts, mini charts. You can switch to various time frames including uh, H6, H8, H12, something that is not shown on the MetaTrader default. So various time frames, ticks, charts, uh, various uh, charts in, in a single chart combined, uh, magnifier tool. So there is actually host of new features uh, on Supreme Edition, so grab it. It's very, very good. I'm still in process of uh, testing it because it's something that is very, very new and so far so good. Don't forget that Admiral Markets is officially best empty for broker by voting in UK 2016. So today's agenda, true, true breakouts, ATR breakouts and when to trade it. Okay, so this is very important concept, when to trade it because you will not be able to trade uh, this uh, without knowing when to trade. So timing is of very, very, of, I may say, utmost importance here. So first we need to go with master candle concept because true breakouts are efficiently derived from master candle. Okay, so master candle is an interim support and resistance candle. When you see a master candle, you know that that is actually a candle that provides support and resistance, the strongest interim support and resistance, even stronger than pivot points, okay? So let's say that you see on the chart uh, one big candle, okay, one big candle that contains all other candles in it. So we know that this two levels are most important because this is mother candle or master candle and it marks interim support and resistance that is at that point the most powerful support and resistance. That is important for you to know because some traders would misuse this concept to actually trade immediately when this is broken or trade immediately when this downside is broken but we don't do it like that. We need to define First the master candle and then when we define that is a true candle, then we go with true breakouts. Okay, it's done on one hour time frame, but I may revise it soon. I'm not sure that uh, I will revise it actually so far one hour time frame has worked the best. So I stick to one hour time frame and uh, Maybe the opportunities are not that high. There are not so so many opportunities, but uh, almost 70 to 80 percent of them are successful when it happens. Uh, because of that, but because we don't have so many opportunities by trading through breakout, we actually will also focus on ATR breakouts, and that is when we will usually will have a couple of opportunities throughout the day to take those ATR breakouts. I will show you that guys so don't worry even if you don't have the indicator that I am going to present you today with today uh, well uh, as always just send me an email and I will send it over but there is a part of price action training school so all students of price action training school should get proper tools for trading so don't worry just email me and you will get you will get it. Of course, you cannot trade without the tools, you cannot trade blindly and those tools that we use are actually our books because after all, you are all students, right? So this is a simple 
representation of a master candle. This is a candle, and when we see that four candles, consecutive candles, are actually contained within the high and low of the candle, we might say that this is a master candle. So we need to see four of those candles contained within the low and high of the candle. Uh, the range of the candle can be in between 30 and 100 pips, even more than 100 pips if you if you spot it, but the low is 30 pips. I went with 40 pips in the past, but I think that 30 is also sufficient because even if you trade with 30 pips, you will have opportunities to trade, and most of those will be successful opportunities. So when you see this, guys, and four consecutive candles contained within the candles high low, simply you don't go with anything, you simply wait, because this is the range. Now, those are set up candles. Next three consecutive candles should break either high or low. So we are not biased. It means we will not trade uh, what, what we see fit. Okay, We don't know where the breakout will happen. Simply said, in this concept, trend is not important. We don't watch the trend. We simply take a true breakout whenever it happens. But it should happen after four setup candles have, have been shown on the chart, next three candles, well, one of them should break either high or low. Because we don't go with trend concept, we call it a true breakout. So first, second, and third candle after the fourth setup candle need to break master candle high low for the breakout to be valid. If you don't see a breakout of those candles, well, simply said, guys, you don't have anything to trade. Okay, so that is the rule, and we should, of course, respect those rules. So those are fifth, sixth, or seventh candle after the master candle. Okay, so first four should define this as a master candle, and either the first, second, or third after we defined it should break either high or low. Now, valid master candle has 40 to 100 pips. But as I said, guys, okay, I, I, I placed this on the, on the screen, but I'm not sure why it's not showing. I switched to 30 to uh, 200 pip range. So you can actually watch from 30 to 100 and more pips range. Okay, depending on all the pair traded. Okay, so buy sell entry is placed three pips and spread above below or master candle high and low. We use next support as the, uh, resistor level for TP and no trading if the price is close to import support resistor level. So guys, again, master candle is interim support and resistant candle. A candle high and low, which engulfs next four candle high and low. It's called true breakout concept, and we do it on one hour chart. So this is the candle. We have four consecutive candles within the high and low of the body, of the of the sorry of, of the complete candle. And when we see first, second, or third candle break out this range, we go with when, with the entry. We don't know where it will break. Because of that, we call it a true breakout. Now, you need to know that you need to include three pips and spread. Because if you trade with ECN account, the spread is usually less than one pip. Well, if you see that your spread is less than one pip, add one pip. So that would qualify for four pips. If you trade with other accounts where, where you see a bigger spread, then you should add a spread, two or three pips, whatever. No trading if the price is close to import and support resistor level because it will be a fake out then. So this is a 70 pip master candle. How we know that that is master candle? 
simply because next four candles, one, two, three, four, are trapped within the range of this candle. So next, first, second, or third candle should either break here or there. So we see a breakout, but as I said, we want the breakout to be three pips plus the spread. So this is it when it happened. We saw a little bit of, uh, well, of a range market, a little bit of drawdown, and then back. It goes down. For stop loss placement, you can go with two ways. If you want to be aggressive, you need to place your stop loss three pips plus the spread above the high, the high of the candle that defined the master candle. In this case, that was the fourth candle. So three pips above this. If you want to be conservative, well, then you place three pips at the spread above master candle high. Okay? Four, Martin is asking, four set up candles within body or weeks? Yes, all weeks. So if this is the candle, next four candles should be trapped within the whole candle. So we always include the weeks. Don't forget that in my teaching, weeks are more important than bodies. Because weeks tell you uh, that there are now moment buyers and sellers versus historical buyers and sellers. So we take the weeks, Martin. Okay? We include the weeks. So this is the candle, and first, second, third, four, define it as the master candle because those are trapped within the full range of this candle. So when first, second, or third break through this range by three pips and spread, we take the trade. Simple as that. And here you saw what happened. Next example, guys. Okay? Watch this. Big, big, big master candle. How we know that there is a master candle? One, two, three, four. Okay. These four candles define it as a true master candle. Now we want to see a breakout. The first candle after the candle has been defined as master candle did nothing. But the second candle made a true breakout to the upside. This is our entry. And here, this is our aggressive stop loss. Three pips below the low of the candle that has defined this as a master candle. Next example. Here, 40 pip candle. One, two, three, four. Four candles are trapped within this candle range. So we need to wait for either first or second candle to break out. First candle did nothing. Second candle broke through to, for 40 pip, and we place our stop loss for aggressive placement three pips below this low here plus the spread, or three pips plus this spread. This is pure price action, guys. You don't need indicators for this. Okay? This was the part of practical naked trading, and this is the part of price action training school. So you see, there is simple as that. You don't need indicators. You don't need anything. You just need to be close to your PC and, well, observe the charts. Guys, this is being recorded and a lot of people uh, are watching this on YouTube channel. So for all people who are watching this on YouTube, even if you are a beginner trader, this will help you to actually spot the price action flow on the chart and by using uh, by using your screening time to the full extent, you will that will come into your subconscious mind, and you will actually develop uh, that feeling for the price. Screening time is of utmost importance when you actually trade. I can't stress out how screening time is important. When I started to trade. Many years ago, well, believe me or not, I, I, I had like eight hours screening time per day for a full year. I was so in love in this, and I wanted to get into a single bit of the price. And you will see, when you spend so, 
so, so many, many hours in front of your screen and watch this developing, you will actually develop that feeling for the price. And everything will be easier for you to understand. And this is a great way even for new traders to grab the ultimate feel of the price. And there is nothing better that shows the price, uh, the possible entry then that is actually price action. Of course, we can combine it with few indicators such as Excellent Camarilla or Marimat. We can use MACD, but we really don't know. We really don't need thousands of those indicators that are being shared and sold over the internet. You don't need it, guys, believe me. Simple as that. So here, this is a breakout concept, master candle breakout. And before we delve into ATR breakouts, let me show you the real time, a real chart. And actually, you will see another example for such a good master candle breakout concept. Here it is, guys. We see Euro dollar. Okay, this is Euro dollar chart. And you can see we have a candle. Simple, you have data window in the bottom left. And you can easily, easily spot where uh, where this could go. So the low of this candle is 1395. The height of this candle is 1425. Mark these levels and let's say it's a possible master candle because it has 30 pips within it. Okay? Actually just a slight aggression guys. Here uh, actually I have installed uh, the new iteration of MT4 Supreme Edition and here you see a lot of new indicators. I don't have enough time to explain all this but rest assured that I will make a special webinar where I will show you such great tools that was done, that, uh, was done by, by Admiral Markets uh, team and here there are a lot of new indicators that will help you trade. Okay, Very, very good indicators. So here you can see, now let's back to our main subject. Yeah, Ron, it looks good indeed. Uh, so here you can see that actually uh, we have a, a low and high. And uh, here, you see, guys, it's 14.28. As I said, you need to add three pips plus the spread. So the entry would be 14.29, but it didn't happen. So let me tell you, you need to be very precise with this. It's not uh, just a coincidence that I said three pips at the spread. So you need to include the spread. If you are trading with ECN, then it's usually a very low spread. So add one pip more. So it's like four pip if you have less than, than a, a pip spread. So here the entry would have been at 14.29. But it didn't happen. And here, the entry would have been at 1391. Okay, the low of this candle was 1372. So actually, it was 20 pip of a breakout. Okay, okay we, you can see here, we were actually very close to supports here. And you need to take that into account when you're trading through breakouts. Usually, your trades will be 20 pips in profit. Uh, there is no, th this is simple trigger happy trading. As soon as you see 3 pip and spread or 4 pip, well, then you make your entry and you just, usually you will close the profit before uh, the price goes further up or down. Here, guys, I have marked another uh, master candle here. Okay, so here actually, this was it. This was the master candle, so let me remove these lines here. Actually, uh, where, where was it now? I think, yeah, well, okay. I think I lost it, but here we are actually. Okay, so let, let's see, we will find it here. Four, one, two, yeah. This is indeed a master candle here, you see?
So count here, one, two, three, four. Four candles. So here we define it as a master candle. But you see, that these next three candles didn't break through higher lows. So we cannot take this as a potential trade opportunity. So we need to watch for more. OK, OK, let's see. I think we one, two, three, four. Yeah, guys, watch this. Master candle here. This one, this one. One, two, okay, let me remove this. We actually don't need this one. Here. Okay, so roughly it's here. One, two, three, four. Four candles here. Define this candle as a mass. Can one, two, look at this, guys. Perfect breakout. Watch this. Huh? Do you like it? See? So actually, this is very easy, guys. Martin is saying, I don't see an indicator support one, two. Because, Martin, you don't have an indicator here. How you define? Well, just roll back. You need to know how to place those manual lines. This was the first lesson of price action training school. So if you if you are not familiar with it, please, Martin, go to first lesson on price action trade school. Simply, you need to go to watch your lap and mark most important swings. So here, these are most important swings. See, because it's breaking to to the downside. These are most important swings. Say so here, this, 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 this. So when now, if you see that this candle is a very strong. Once next candle breaks, the uh, these uh, next uh, swing points, well, what you do is actually just move your stop loss. So instead of taking profits here, just move your stop loss very close to important uh, swings. So if this was important swing, you move your stop loss two pips above it, so you're ensuring a free ride. So just look for important swings. And you see, actually, this is good because it gives you the opportunity to watch uh, the price action in its fullest form. So here, 19 pips, 24 pips, 50 pips, sometimes even more. See? Just mark it with most important swings. Well, you see most important swings here, here, here. And you see that the price is breaking. Those swings, you just need to actually move your stop loss and protect your trade so it would be a profit stopped. What it means a profit stop? If you still not know what a profit stop is, please refer to... Uh, my uh, webinar about profit stops, but of course, uh, because uh, trade management is also the part of price action training school, we will have it in the future, and I will explain how you actually use profit stop when you are in the trade. So guys, this was it about master candle and true breakout concept. I think that you will enjoy this, but well, as I said, uh, uh, everything comes with a price. And the price here is that you actually need to be close to your computer and monitor those candles. Because you don't know when ma master candle can show itself. You simply need to wait and be patient. And as you can see here, well, see here, it was a very, very, very good. Well, we had a um, host of these um, true breakouts on euro dollar in a couple of days, well, that is not bad. Now, let's move on to ATR breakouts. So for this you need ATR indicator, not just an ordinary indicator, but indicator that uh, all my students should have and all price action training school students should actually use it on their charts by default, okay? That is called uh, uh, IATR indicator. I have it, and if you don't, uh, if you don't have it, just send me an email. I will send it over. So it's set to seven. Uh, also, you need to have a standard ATR set to seven, 
And then you need to have ATR14 overlaid by EMA7. Fractals. Now, maybe this sounds confusing. But because this is probably confusing to you, now I will open the chart and I will show you how to actually install those indicators easily. So this is it, guys. Okay, this is it. See? Pound, dollar. And here, that is the indicator that I use. Okay, here. Fractals, average true range moving. So, how you actually put 14 ATR and MA together? Let's go step by step. First of all, guys, open your 5 minute time frame and press Control Y. That will mark the beginning of new trading day. You will see these lines. This is projected top, this is projected bottom. You just need, in between those lines, you need to actually draw uh, these manual red lines and that will mark it because these levels are not shown on the full chart. You see those are short, so actually you need to mark it down like, like I do and try to be as precise as you can. You see how I do it. Now. Put the fractal indicator, you can find it here, insert the indicators, uh, Bill Williams, fractals, and you need to have ATR14 overlaid by EMA7. How you do it? First go with ATR indicator, go to insert indicator and then uh, oscillators, average through range, add 0 0.001 here. Actually, this is on uh, Admiral Markets platform. I'm not using anything uh, besides uh, Admiral Markets. So here, this is how you should make it 0 0.001. And here, guys, you see it's 14 period. All time frames, it doesn't matter. So it, you can leave it as it is and press OK. So you have ATR 14. That should be about 0 0.001. Then you need actually to add moving average, 7, overlaid. How you do it? Press left mouse button, okay, and draw the indicator here. Put 7, red, and apply to previous indicators data, like this. So, when a new trading day starts, you will see this. So, you will know that these are ATR levels. Now, guys, watch this. ATR should be above 7 EMA and both should be above 0 0.01. In that case, when you see a breakout of ATR, you trade it. But ATR should, bro should break, of course, below its level. So here it is. You see, just watch these lines now. So here it went down. It should break also, as we said, 3 pips plus the spread. So here, 65, here is, oh, well, well, yes, it's 62, 59, so this is our entry. And your next target is next ATR level. So this was our entry, and here it is, 50, 40p breakout. The qualifier for this trade, guys, should be actually that these two lines are above this, this uh, 0 0.01. So actually, this should be your entry here, okay? This should be your entry. And you see it went down. Now, when you see that this level is being <laughs> broken as here, you won't see always such big movements. You just move your stop loss here and trade a uh, free uh, trade. Now, how do you know when to make another breakout? Well, simply said, if you see that the price has made very close to actually full ATR range as it made here. Okay, that is why we're using five minute time frame. Then you can actually start to exploit breakouts in the upper direction. So this was actually bigger than projected. You see here, it says 230 and projection for seven days was 212, so it broke. So actually you might start to trade to the upside. Same. Here you need, okay, you see ATR and 7 EMA are way above 0 0.01, so this is a valid breakout towards next target.
Now, next target, how you trade it? You need to see a pullback like this. Pullback and then another push like here. So another push should be, but have in mind that these two lines should be above zero line and that blue is above red. So next trade should be actually this one. This one, okay, here. Breakout happened here. Guys, you see, this is a lot of, lot of potential trades. What I suggest is don't over trade. No matter how good this might look to you, actually, uh, because you see, there is a lot of opportunities, especially if you see that pair is volatile, such as GBP. So GBP basket is very volatile now. Uh, try to not, not try not to over trade. Okay, so take two or three trades maximum, and then step away. Guys, forex market is very addictive. Once you see money coming into your pocket, and this is guys instant money, right? Well, you might say, okay, I will try to trade this six, seven, ten times per day. Don't do it. Because, you know, you, you need to be realistic. Not every day will be like this. This is a volatile day. Due to Brexit and all, uh, many other things that were accompanied by Brexit, pound is very, very volatile. But other pairs are not that volatile. So if you're stuck in the range, take the profit. Don't wait for next level to be hit. So it's always the best to watch for volatile movements uh, of the pairs that are moving a lot. And you don't need to be a doctor for that. Actually, you know that pound is moving. And actually, because of the movement of the pound, you can actually try to exploit those trades. So you see, it's, it's a bit uh, interesting, I, 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 I need to say. And I think that you might like the system, OK? A lot of trading opportunities here. So once more, guys, uh, ask if anything is not clear, OK? As I say, this is a part of price action training school. So please, if anything is not clear, go ahead and ask me. I will be free to help you, free to help you trade this. Uh, if you don't understand these concepts, of course, go ahead. Ask me now, and next time, uh, we will go with the questions and answers for previous five lessons. Yes, Evaldas, this is five minute time frame because uh, you cannot see clearly on one hour time frame. You see, it's a bit of, you, it's much easier to see on five minute time frame because actually you want to trade, as I say, breakouts of these important levels. So here, guys, if you see that the price is like this, it's not going anywhere. Here, you see the price is here. You need to watch for the rules. Blue above red, both above, above uh, 0 0.01. And here, you can see you need a pullback here. See, because this is not valid, guys. This is not valid for you to trade. OK, here, this is not valid. So this is valid from this point to this point. And here, you could take some breakouts. See, a uh, pullback, then breakout here. Okay, next breakout here, see? How do I get horizontal lines? Wow, Ron, but that is the first lesson, horizontal lines. How, ah, screen is frozen. Sorry, guys, let me, let me show you again. So this is the area that is not valid here. You don't trade this. This is wh where you trade. OK, this, because blue should be above red, both above 0 0.01. You see here, price went up, and then, guys, watch this. It went down. So for this level to actually trade, you should have a swing to the upside and then break it downside. Because here, guys, you see the price was going down. You cannot trade just up and down, up and down, because you will get a lot of false signals. You need to respect the retracement. So if this was broken here, See, this was retracement breakdown. This was retracement breakdown. Okay, this was okay. This is not now. This is retracement. And if you see the retracement here and it breaks down through this, then you take it. 
okay at this one run this is indicator lines this indicator automatically plots these lines small colored so you just send me an email and you need this your uh, price action training school student so of course I will send it over so just send me an email as always and you will get it okay so these color lines are actually those levels and these are maximum see KC this is maximum so you don't never trade above this this is the maximum range and this is projected range so you don't trade here guys trade until these levels have been taken out okay simple as that don't rush in trades be patient as I always say market will come to you you just need to be patient guys if you're patient enough you will be rewarded that always happens when you're patient but if you're impatient then you know that a lot of bad things can happen and you actually can end up with a loss instead of profits so here it is so just wait for retracements and then trade so here you see guys you you just cannot take every single of that trade you can take this to the upside because the price got to extremes and then you see th these are all pullbacks down 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 so the price is following the general trend on five minute time frame that is down yes uh, a, uh, Ilya, a I A D T R indicator shows color levels and here this is a movement for ATR seven days and this is this has been overshot because today price movement was 230 so actually here you see there is discrepancy but it's very close right because if you see that the price broke through all of ATR seven days projected levels then you're ready to actually take some breakouts to contra side like this the price dropped and then it started to retrace see so you can scalp with this you you can really make some good scalping trades that should be very very good uh, but don't over trade please I really hate to say it hundred times but if you over trade guys that's that's that is very very bad yes Australian dollar I can show why not let's mark it down here So here, here, okay, screen frozen, don't worry, I will unfreeze it now, okay, here, Australian dollar, and these, these are overshot targets, you see, here, here. So well, ATR7 is, it's not very volatile, Ilya. You see, it's only 111 pips. It's bigger than seven days ATR, but you see it's 89, so not that volatile, right? But hey, let's, let's use it. This was when the market opened, right? And this was, you see, it already was below this line, so it should go down, right? Here you see the first breakout, target hit retracement and then next one here you see and when it made to the to its full potential here you can actually try to go counter here a one this is not tradable here another one so see it's easy but I might show you hundreds of these examples but I'm afraid that you will really take uh, 10 trades per day that will be too much so here to the extremes now if this was a fresh trading session guys you should take the break out of this this one but but you, you know the rules rules should be respected this is actually very good indicator because it tells you that there is no volatility here you see now the also the question when to trade okay when to trade it's important for you to know guys that uh, you should trade during the first three hours of each major session 
That includes London, New York, and Tokyo session. The first three hours are most volatile, and the first three hours are very important. So that is when you trade it. Profit is taken on next level, but if you see, if you notice that price is not going anywhere, cut your trade. Cut your trade and take the profit. Of course, stop loss goes three pips above last high, three pips and spread. That is usually four pips if you trade with ECN. Uh, above or below last swing high or low depending on your entry. And as I say, if you see that price is getting towards uh, next uh, level, well, great, you can take the profit. But if you see that the price is hesitant to go anywhere, cut your trade because you don't want to trade when market is showing you this red above blue. Okay, you don't want to trade. So, for example, if I took this trade, I would cut it now. I don't want to wait anything. See, because red is above blue and it's end of day. So when you trade, guys, you always need to ha to uh, think about these very important things that we cover each day, like major trading session, uh, when to trade, when not to trade, uh, end of day. All these things should be incorporated. So yes, that is it. If you have any further questions, guys, of course, ask me. If you don't have the questions, uh, well, this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, if you don't have this indicator, please send me an email. I will get it back to you because this is your book. This is the book that you actually read and you will use it in your trading. Okay? It's important tool for you. So I don't see any questions. I hope that you enjoy today's session. Uh, I hope that you have been enjoying Price Action Trade School. We have a lot more to speak, a lot more to teach you. And uh, mm, yeah, one more question from Ilya. If now blue were, were over red, where would you enter? I would enter exactly, well, this is the top of the range. So I would enter here. This is, you see, uh, ATR7 was 89, so it was overshot by today's price movement. So I would enter here, exactly. And if this was if this was blue above red, I would trade downside here. I would trade the downside here. And TP would be here. Yes, Ilya, at Lila level, indeed. So that is what I would do. And guys, I hope that you enjoyed also yeah, correct moving average, Martin. Uh, uh, Martin, the moving average is EMA. EMA, normal EMA. As you see here, moving average is simply exponential seven, like this. You just use this as, I, as I'm showing you, and you will be fine. Apply to previous indicators data, like it's shown on chart. Okay, great. I hope, guys, also that you enjoyed profits. Today we had a great, se a great trading session. I told you to go short on pound. I hope that you, I really hope that you have listened to me. Uh, last couple of days were very, very profitable, guys. Uh, really very, very profitable. I hope that you enjoyed our trading. Uh, as I said, uh, we had great trading sessions. And uh, well, uh, <laughs> you saw a lot of a lot of uh, pips could have been made. Here uh, we had a pound dollar trade. Here, if you go to your, let me show you quick. Pound dollar downtrend continues. I told you that you might get short even here from these POCs, and it was huge drop. Also, New Zealand yen yesterday. Okay, I, I hope I say that you made profits here. Downside. Okay. Uh, yeah, but Ilya, uh, something similar was shown, but uh, well, this is now the part of pri uh, pr practical linked trading and price action trading school. So it's used only on five-minute time frame. Okay, solely on five-minute time frame. 
OK? Yes, Euro Yen dropped, CAD Yen dropped. Indeed, go with correlations, as I say. So that was it, guys. Five minute time frame only. Because then on five minutes, you will be easier to spot these levels and go with, with the rules. OK, guys, thank you for listening. I don't see any questions. So you will be able to watch this. Yes, I will make a webinar about fundamentals. I will write it down, so possibly next month. Thank you for listening to me, guys. Thank you for being here, and I will talk with you soon. As always, expect new analysis tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Trade safe.